2019 Toyota CHR SUV Review The Good Points of Toyota CHR SUV Hybrid Efficiency Concept Car Design Engaging to Push Comfortable and Refined the bad points of Toyota CHR SUV. Only two engines, without diesel. Not as practical as rivals. CVT Auto not for all. Interior trimming very bold. The CHR is Toyota's modern, futuristic undertake the popular compact crossover craze, offering an appealing alternative to popular small SUVs much like the Nissan Qashqai. Volkswagen T-Rock and Mini Countryman. On first inspection, you could be forgiven for thinking it is a concept car, with sharp lines and slashes within your bodywork. However, will still be a fairly practical SUV with space for four adults as well as a large enough boot for almost all. Powered using a choice of turbocharged petrol or hybrid power plant, the facility options are equally modern, while running costs must be manageable too. Its extraordinarily bold exterior is married for an interior which includes equally surprising elements and, to top it all, Toyota did hard to supply the CHR a lot more satisfying driving experience than we're employed to from this fundamentally sensible Japanese manufacturer. In fact, Toyota describes the CHR as being a game caner for that company. The coupe SUV combination isn't unusual currently. But Toyota could be the first to completely bring this idea on the mainstream family crossover class, in many respects making the CHR a possible ideal follow-on car if you have outgrown the massively popular, similarly proportioned but much smaller Nissan Duke. Certainly, the CHR can be a breath of oxygen compared with more conventional rivals for example the Qashqai, Renault Kaja, Ford Kuga, Skoda Yeti and Kia Sportage, which also deserve a place on your short list. Toyota is hoping buyers will likely consider it's a worthy rival to more premium alternatives like the VW T-Rock, Audi Q2 and many countrymen, too. Is there much space in a very Toyota CHR? There are disadvantages on the shape, obviously, both rear headroom and boot space suffer electrical systems, as well as the small volume of glass within the rear doors can result in younger backseat occupants complaining of claustrophobia once they who are old enough to know what the term means. And a corner door handles are so high up about the door too, which makes it difficult to access the back with your hands full. Both of these issues could be blamed within the styling that will also attract numerous spies towards the CHR. Still, it's possible to get a several adults inside the back, three if they're really friendly, however the middle seat can be quite much of an occasional call persuasion, and although smaller than rivals, the boot isn't tiny. It's a compromise there's a chance you're prepared to make sure the rest from the package appeals. Toyota CHR Hybrid, cheap to perform and good to push. The CHR plays the form card with impressive conviction, for any Toyota, and also the hybrid driver train is really a novelty inside crossover sector. This combination of a single 8 litre petrol engine and electric motor is borrowed on the latest Toyota Prius, as may be the vehicle platform the CHR is made upon. This might not sound too promising, particularly in reference towards the driving pleasure claims. But not only perform the Prius underpinnings provide CHR a lower than usual center of gravity to get a crossover, the complete project is engineered in Europe for Europe, with particular attention paid to European driving habits. It's even been tested within the UK, and now we thought it was an incredibly impressive system. It's extremely smooth, quiet and simple to push but furthermore, it's capable or returning pretty much as good, otherwise better, MPG when compared to a diesel. In fact, in order to prove some colleagues wrong, on the list of team aimed for the best fuel economy possible and also beat Toyota's claimed 72.4 miles per gallon. Enroll and watch the report. Toyota CHR, Lobic for company car drivers. Thanks to your petrol-electric hybrid CHR's CO2 creation of 87 grams km, it becomes an SUV that company car drivers can consider. The benefit-in-kind tax product is geared towards rewarding lower CO2 models, 
particularly cars using petrol in lieu of diesel. Toyota CHR engines, 1.2 turbo petrol and efficient hybrid. Around 75% of CHR buyers are hoped for to choose the hybrid. Any shock on this stat is lessened because of the knowledge that there's only one other engine choice at launch, a 60 minute dot to liter turbo petrol. Toyota isn't offering, and it has no intent to offer, a CHR diesel. It's actually much more likely we'll go to a higher performance petrol model further down the road. Is there a Toyota CHR 4x4? For now the 1.2 comes like a 6-speed manual with front-wheel drive as well as a CVT automatic with a range of front or all wheel. As you move the hybrid comes as being a front-wheel drive with similar auto box only. There are three trim levels, Icon, XL and Dynamic. All are well equipped, keeping the car safe and technology heavily represented. The Toyota CHR Dynamic will be the most heavily customizable trim that has a colourful décor to match the futuristic exterior. What in regards to more powerful Toyota CHR? We think it is highly likely. Toyota announced the 2018 Auris will get a selection of the 1.8 litre hybrid we're familiar with, or perhaps a 2.0 litre system that's geared more towards gear drivers. The latter will, without doubt find its way within the bonnet from the CHR within the coming years. The company's spokespeople have stated that driver enjoyment is usually a priority now, something that was sadly missing generally in most pre-CHR Toyotas. Our colleagues from Car Magazine in addition have reported for the CHR He Power concept car, that is an indication of circumstances to come. CHR is short for Coupe High Rider, and that is straightforward enough. But would it be the game Kana for Toyota which the Japanese car maker hopes it truly is? What to watch next? What's it love to live that has a Toyota CHR? How to push a hybrid? Best compact SUVs to acquire? Toyota CHR versus Mini Countryman and also other quirky crossovers. Find a Toyota CHR available for sale. Performance. Hybrid produces more torque but 1.2 more pleasurable. Clever manual transmission, noisy automatic. Don't utilize all wheel drive. Power output through the two engines available from the Toyota CHR is quite similar. The 1.2 litre turbo produces 116 horsepower, the 1.8 litre petrol electric hybrid a combined 122 horsepower. As this means, performance is additionally evenly matched with 0 to 62 miles per hour inside hybrid taking 11.0 seconds, as you move the 1.2 requires 10.9 seconds rolling around in its most basic and fastest front wheel drive, manual gearbox guys. The automatic and four wheel drive automatic versions in the 1.2 are slightly slower, however, not so much that you'd notice day to day. Electric torque counts. However, for the reason that electric motor produces 163 newton meters of instant torque, almost as almost as much as the 1.2 liter engine, and that's prior to the motor's 1.8 liter petrol partner makes its contribution, once you're within the move, the hybrid often feels the harder responsive choice. In some cases the 1.2 feels gutless. Keep the revs up, though, and you'll chose the smaller petrol and eager companion. It even creates a pleasantly keen noise. Combined while using standard manual gearbox this ultimately can make it the most engaging CHR if you want to go fast. Two interesting transmissions. The basic 1.2 could be the only CHR that comes that has a manual gearbox, yet this isn't quite your normal 6 speed. Toyota calls it the Intelligent Manual Transmission, IMT since it cleverly matches the engine revs if you change gear for making both upshifts and downshifts smoother. It also increases engine torque when leaving a standstill for that same reason. Both features work almost imperceptibly, but wonderfully. The automatic offered on all the versions, such as the hybrid, is usually a continuously variable transmission. As is typical for the CVT, 
This really is smooth however the engine noise often doesn't correspond using the speed that you are driving, which could be a strange sensation in the beginning, sounding rather as when the clutch is slipping. We are able to see very little value in opting for that all-wheel drive option within the 1.2. This is just not an off-road vehicle, as well as in regular road driving that you are unlikely to discover much benefit. Handling CHR meant to improve Toyota's handling image. Very well controlled inside corners, especially for just a crossover. Steering delivers little feedback but good accuracy. Currently Toyota won't have a good name for building keen driver's cars, nevertheless it would wish to change this. So for that CHR, a model that's conceived exclusively for your European market, it's expended quite a lot of effort looking to understand European driving traits and the way they influence the rollout of vehicles through the region's brands. The end result is really a Toyota that's much more satisfying from in the driver's seat. What helps make the CHR an even better Toyota to push? Attention to detail along with a positive attitude, essentially. And by positive attitude we show that it changes direction with keenness, in lieu of the reluctance you go through in, say, a Toyota Auris. To make this amendment having a vehicle in the CHR's increased height is impressive, and shows how seriously Toyota intends to take driver involvement any further. As for that attention to detail, this really is evident within the consistent behavior of all handling elements. The steering isn't over brimming with feel and feedback, nonetheless it transitions very smoothly into cornering, with little on the numbness around the straight ahead it's easy to experience with electrically assisted systems. Similarly, the suspension's damping is fantastic, besides doing it congratulations are in order of absorbing bumpy roads effectively but in addition controlling the way the CHR leans into turns, tilting gently as an alternative to lurching. Toyota says it turned out aiming to provide you with the handling enthusiasm of a competent hatchback, we'd hesitate to look quite that far in isolation, nevertheless for an SUV it acquits itself commendably, and might be placed about the road with great accuracy. Which version handles best? The hybrid carries more importance, especially at the front end, so that it isn't quite as sharp drive an automobile as the 1.2. If you want to see HR that's fun using a B road, we'd opt for the 1.2 with all the manual transmission. Behind the wheel. Bold interior won't be for every individual. Dot it's functional and simple to use. Satnav might be clearer. In many respects, the inside on the CHR is a bit more extraordinary as opposed to outside, again, especially to get a Toyota. Not only may be the dashboard noticeably angled on the driver, it feels rather lower plus much more spacious than it's easy to find in crossovers. But most prominent of all may be the Toyota Touch 2 infotainment screen, standard on every model, which sits proud for the leading edge from the dashboard within a distinctive asymmetrical frame. While this can be a detail that appears to be lifted straight from your original CHR concept car, it really works well in reality, placing what can be a generously large screen high up within the driver's R line, turning it into easy to check without looking too far from your road. The bezel has fixed, touch-sensitive controls for simplicity, and we have been happy to report they're responsive and frustration-free. Satnaf is standard from middle-ranking XL trim. This has some neat features but struggled with clarity when challenged by Spain's, admittedly often complex, road systems around the initial launch event. Diamonds everywhere. Much in the exterior is shaped to generate you consider diamonds, and reinforcing this message there is really a diamond motif through the entire interior, from your shape on the button clusters for the steering wheel and below the infotainment screen to your unusual cutouts inside the roof lining. It provides each CHR a design consistency which includes often being lacking from Toyota interiors. Won't be for anyone. Toyota has taken a bit of a risk while using CHR's interior, however. The design is indeed bold that it's going to potentially defer more conservative buyers, particularly if dressed while using bright blue and dusky purple trim standard for the top spec dynamic model. More muted option is available.
We such as lay a design for the dashboard plus the diamond pattern door inserts, even if they're rather not easy to the touch. But you will still find large swathes of bland looking plastics, which make the intricacies elsewhere seem slightly tokenistic. Comfort Toyota did development work inside the UK. CHR relates to bumpy surfaces as well. Both versions are quiet and refined. Toyota did development work for the car here inside UK, and promises how the particular challenge of the roads may be taken into account. Comfortable ride. Indeed, for the rougher sections we've thus far encountered, the shock absorbers exhibited a great ability to handle bumps quickly and comfortably. The CHR's platform continues to be reinforced in key areas using the aim of rendering it especially rigid, that helps in these circumstances. It does also make for just a rather heavy vehicle, though, with even the easiest 1.2-litre model weighing 1,320 kilograms, along with the hybrid 60 kilograms more. Our only criticism here is that the CHR is likely to shake laterally very slightly when driving over straight bumpy roads. This is really a result on the relatively thick anti-roll bars, in order that it's a trade-off between handling and ride comfort. Nevertheless it's also not just a big grounds for concern. Fundamentally this isn't an unpleasant car. Refinement Once installed and operating, both versions from the CHR are quiet about the move, with the limited level of wind and road noise, especially, depending around the surface, making the engine almost imperceptible. The hybrid can, however, run using electric power alone abbreviated distances, doing it the ultimate advantage within this area, particularly useful should you have sensitive neighbours but often have to leave home early or a term late. It is whisper quiet in a electric vehicle mode. Which wheel dimensions are best? We spoke to among the chief development engineers, who reckon the heavier hybrid was best on 17-inch wheels, as the sportier 1.2 enjoyed 18-inch wheels. The hybrid felt slightly softer overall to us, so don't think there's major grounds for worry no matter what, which can be good news considering that although the entry-level trim consists of 18-inch alloys as standard. Equipment The Toyota CHR launches with three trim level choices, Icon, Excel and Dynamic. Here's the way they fare for standard equipment. Standard Toyota CHR Equipment Highlight standard equipment about the Toyota CHR Icon. Dual zone climate control. 17 inch alloys. Toyota Touch 2 infotainment. Front fog lights. Rain sensing windscreen wipers. Auto dimming rear view mirror. Additional highlight standard equipment around the Toyota CHR XL. Part leather seats with heating within the front. Keyless entry. Parking sensors. 18-inch alloy wheels. Electric folding door mirrors. Satnav and 3-year online services subscription. The Toyota CHR Dynamic upgrades this further with. Metallic paint with contrast black roof. Different 18-inch alloy wheels. LED headlamps and fog lights. Purple upholstery fabric. Toyota CHR, optional extras. The icon might be upgraded with tech, leather and premium packs, rogues including both leather plus a specially developed 9 speaker JBL speakers that's also optional for the higher trim levels. All versions can be found with sport and SUV packs, the previous adding a light body kit aforementioned sidebars and faux underbody protection. The protection pack adds mud flaps, rear bumper protector, boot liner and front scuff plates. Finally, there can also be a collection of entertainment packs, providing various front seat back docking selections for iPods, DVD players along with the like, potentially great for keeping your kids quiet over a long journey, and distracting them on the lack of light being released in through the tiny rear windows. Safety A Toyota Safety Sense package is protected as standard on all versions from the CHR. 
This means every example sold features pre-collision system with autonomous emergency braking and pedestrian recognition, lane departure warning, easily deterred via a button around the steering wheel if you get the beeping annoying, traffic sign recognition, displays signs and speed limits from the instrument cluster, automatic high beam operation, from mid-range Excel trim upwards, this additional safety products are also fitted as standard. Blind spot monitors, searches for vehicles as part of your blind spots. Rear cross traffic alert, detects approaching traffic when you're reversing to produce it easier to emerge from parking spaces. Lane change assist, nudges the controls if you try and change lane without indicating, again this can be easily turned off if you don't as it, we don't. There are no under 8 airbags on every CHR, the two more unusual items as a driver's knee airbag along with a seat cushion airbag for your front passenger, together with obligatory electronic stability control. All in the above would be the reason your own cap scored the CHR its highest award for crash test performance. Interior and boot space. Small boot. Rear visibility not great. You only should look with the roof line from the CHR to find out that it won't be as practical because so many crossovers. Its footprint is small nevertheless the CHR can be tricky to see out with the back of. Acoustic parking sensors come standard on mid-spec models. Electrically powered folding door mirrors are standard through the range. So much so, that after all this in time Toyota only lists a large quantity capacity figure to the boot with rear seats constantly in place, at 377 litres that is only just competitive generally family hatchbacks. The Nissan Qashqai grams in 430 litres, some 53 litres more. The CHR's rear seats do fold. But when you're intending on taking it to IKEA, you ought to be aware how the resulting load area isn't flat as there's a substantial lip between boot floor plus the back on the seats. This is presumably partially down on the hybrid variant, which stores the batteries for your electric motor under the trunk seats. On the plus side, meaning the hybrid has as often boot space because non-hybrid, and because of a relatively low seating position, for just a crossover, there may be still a reasonable level of headroom inside the rear and four average sized adults should fit inside without a lot of complaint. The rear middle seat can be a perfunctory effort, only suitable in abbreviation journeys. The seating position is higher than from the platform sharing Prius, however, and that means you do still obtain a more commanding view with the road from the front. In the trunk you'll get the windows small, and so the trunk is somewhat dark, over the shoulder visibility with the driver is compromised for that same reason. Interior storage range is coming from a generous glove box and deep cup holders for backseat passengers to strangely shallow doorway pockets that may result in items escaping during vigorous cornering.